at what point did you realize that uh, you wanted to, to go into acting? Oh my God, that's a really long story. Um, <laughs> I always say that I knew, but I didn't know. Um, gosh, can I give you the version? Do we have time for that story? Yeah, okay. <laughs> go ahead, please. Yeah. I, um, so I was getting ready to go to high school and was panicking because I didn't think I would fit into the high school that my um, my house was in the district of. And so at the time, I didn't know about all these magnet schools that were in uh, Dallas. So I found out while I was in eighth grade having lunch with my friend Tanisa Waring that she was auditioning for the arts magnet. And I thought, well, what's that? And she's like, it's like the school. You remember that show, Fame? She's like, it's just like that. And I was like, really? So tell me about that. So it turned out they had a music department, dance department, theater department, and at the time I was playing the viola, and I thought, well, do they have an orchestra? Maybe I can audition for the orchestra, and I didn't think I wanted to do that for, you know, the next four years, but at least it would be an option. And then she said that she was auditioning for the theater department, and so I was like, well, maybe I'll do that. I've done a couple of speeches at church, you know, it's not the same thing, but I didn't know that at the time. So anyways, long story short, um, because they were extremely gracious, they accepted me into the theater department. And it really was, you know, a way to pass those four years. Um, I had intentions of going into college to study to be a physical therapist or an OBGYN. So Mm -hmm. it just, it really was, you know, a way to pass those four years. However... I really thrived in the program. I loved, I loved every moment of it. It was like fame. We were dancing on the tables at lunchtime, <laughs> um, oh, fuck. and it was fantastic. And um, you know, I what that experience gave me it was an appreciation for all of the departments. You know, I hung lights, I built sets, I you know built costumes, and ultimately ended up being an acting student. But I never thought it would at that time I didn't think it was going to be a career so anyways I then go to Spelman College in Atlanta Georgia and I enter as a a biology pre-med major with the intention of like I said being a physical therapist or an OBGYN and I'm sort of a science and math geek and I you know my first semester of school I really struggled in those in in those um, courses and I'd never failed anything in my life in terms of my grades. And I was like, what's happening? <laughs> so um, I guess maybe around my sophomore year in college, I was in my room studying. A friend came over and it's like, you know, let's take a break. I have an extra ticket. The theater and dance department, they're doing some show over there. You want to go? So I went and I literally walked into the theater and I just began to cry. And I didn't, I didn't feel it coming up. I didn't know where it came from. And, you know, I was trying to play it off. But the only way I could describe what was happening at the time is that I felt like I had come home. So the next day I went to the chair of the department and I said, you know what, I, I think I'm supposed to, to be here, but my parents think they're getting a doctor out of this deal. <laughs> and if I, if I, if I change my major, you know, I'm cut off. I need some money. <laughs> so she had, you know, in one hand she had a cigarette, and the other hand she had a Granny Smith apple, and she said, well, darling, <laughs> it seems like you have come to the first, your first crossroads and as an artist. You will either choose the way of stability or you will choose the path of the unknown. And I was like, great. <laughs> <laughs> so um, <laughs> I asked, I essentially asked her for the made the major courses on paper and I went on to plot how I could finish the theater major sprinkle in my bio you know math and science classes I kept my major on paper as biology pre-med for my unsuspecting parents who were just looking for that when they saw my report card and you know <laughs> saw my grades I totally took advantage of the fact that they that they didn't go to college oh. and um, was secretly making my way through a theater major. So around my junior year, when I really began to freak out about what the heck I was going to do with this degree, 
that same professor came and she said, you know what, um, I think you need more training. There are some things that we didn't give you here, i.e. Shakespeare and the Greeks and Chekhov and all of that. And she gave me three brochures to three graduate acting programs. Well, I had no idea that I could get a master's in acting. And I was like, great, this is three more years, you know, that I can pass <laughs> off. <laughs> so <laughs> I, be I believe at the time... I think the applications were for NYU, Juilliard, and UCSD. Nice. And because this was a covert operation and I didn't have any money, I had to pick one of the schools because I could only afford one application fee. So on paper, NYU looked like the program for me. So I flew to New York, scraped some money together, flew to New York with one of my classmates from Morehouse, and we auditioned for the program at the time I didn't know how competitive it was ignorance is bliss because <laughs> um, I had just decided that's where I'm going and they're going to give me a full scholarship yeah and you know I just had no idea what I was getting myself into so long story short um, I got the call that I had been accepted and that they were going to pay for it so this is now I don't know maybe two months before I'm graduating and that I'm realizing I have to tell my parents I'm not getting a Bachelor's of Science, I'm getting a Bachelor of Arts and I'm moving to New York <laughs> in four months. <laughs> so um, I finally made that call and I said, okay, so when you come for graduation, it's going to be, you know, two groups of people. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we know. You're going to be on the Bachelor of Science side. I was like, well, <laughs> I'm actually going to be on the Bachelor of Arts side um, because I'm getting... A bachelor's of arts in theater and I'm getting a master's in acting I'm moving to New York in three months <laughs> and there's crickets my mom is like hold on I'm putting your daddy on the phone <laughs> so um, needless to say they were not happy about that decision I mean they were obviously freaked out when I left Dallas and went to Atlanta and now I was moving to New York City you know these small town people who had a very whose only perception of New York was what we had all seen on television but I was like oh it's going to be fine it's going to be great you don't have to pay for it and we'll figure it out so I sort of that's how I ended up in it um it was it was clearly something that was always there but I didn't I can't honestly say that I knew at three years old I wanted to be an actor even though when I think back of things I did as a kid, it was actually always there. So here I am. Okay, I'm just writing all this down for the next Hallmark television show because this is right? perfect. <laughs> oh my god! No, it was did. a very it was it was a very elaborate lie of good lie of commission or no omission. Um, <laughs> but needless to say, they're very they're very proud of me and are now speaking to me again. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's going to be your next uh, film project is yeah, the, yeah. the Erica Tazzle story.